Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I've got another empties video for you. I always do my empties videos in categories now and they're always when I've used up 10 products. So today's video is about 10 body care and fragrance products that I've used up. I really hope that you like these videos. I certainly enjoy watching them and I think that you like them. They always seem to be quite popular. I think they're a really nice way of getting reviews of products that people have used for long enough in that they finish them um, to be able to form a really true opinion and it's not just sort of trying it once and getting sucked into the hype and, and then forgetting about it. So I hope that you'll find this useful. Before we get started I just want to give a quick shout out to what's on my lips because I know I'll get questions. It is the Rimmel by Kate Moss Lasting Finish Lipstick in the shade 01, just the ones that come in the black packaging. I really like it, it's very comfortable to wear and I just felt like going for a bit of a va va voom red lip to go with my sort of nautical French look that I'm going for today so um, just thought I'd mention that. I'm not wearing anything on my nails so please excuse those but less chat I'm going to get into the products now and any of these that I mentioned that I've reviewed on my blog I will link the specific posts below so do check out those if you want more information as well. So on that subject the first product that I used up is one that I have reviewed on my blog and it's the Philosophy Hazelnut Espresso. Um, this is one of their 3-in-1 shower gel bath, bubble bath and shampoos. I just use it as a shower gel. I, I liked this, it has a sort of chocolatey hazelnut scent, um, I suppose a little bit like a coffee, yeah, but mainly chocolatey I'd say. When I was younger and these sort of cookbook philosophy ones first came out, you know, they've got really cute little recipes on them, I was so excited, I really wanted them, and I sort of begged my parents to get me these for Christmas, and I do still like them, but there's been so many imitations of these now, so many cheaper alternatives, and I just think that for the price, it's not sort of a good enough product and it's certainly not unique enough anymore for me to justify it and they're also packed full of sodium lauryl sulfate which I find very drying on my skin so um, I wouldn't repurchase this there is a full review on my blog as I mentioned but you know I liked it I got it as a gift so I was happy to use it up but not something that I would personally buy again I guess I'll continue talking about shower gels. Um, another one that I did a blog review of, in fact I've reviewed all of these shower gels on my blog, is the Natio Meditate shower gel. It was a yoga scent with Narcissus Attar to immerse yourself within. Um, functional pump dispenser, which I liked, but again, I just found this overpriced for what it was. I found it drying on the skin, but I did find the scent quite relaxing. Let me remind myself of it. It's a very sort of, almost like incense, patchouli, like, sensual fragrance, very warm and comforting. So I like to use this before bed, but again, I found it drying on the skin and that to me is a major downside when I'm trying a shower gel, so I wouldn't use this, I, I wouldn't repurchase this, particularly not for the price. And I, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I remember being quite shocked when I looked it up. And then another shower gel that I used up was just a mini little 100 gram one. I mean, I never include samples in my empties videos because I just don't feel that you can get enough of a feel of a product with most sample sizes. But, you know, this isn't really a sample. It's just a smaller shower gel from Lush. It's the Happy Hippie and it lives up to the name. It's a really uplifting, zesty scent that I really like using in the mornings. It's got grapefruit juice in it. Um, it does, unfortunately, have sodium lauryl sulfate. So again, I found it kind of drying on my skin. Um, but I have repurchased this before because I do like the Lush shower gels despite them containing sodium lauryl sulfate and I particularly love the scent of this one. It just You can't help but smile when you use this. It's like a pale yellow colour and it is uplifting and energising for morning use and, and I do like those sort of aromatherapeutic benefits when I'm using a shower gel. So as I said, I've got reviews of all three of these shower gels on my blog which I will link below. I also used up a scrub, so we're continuing on with that shower theme. This was the DHC Olive Corn Body Scrub and Polish. And to be honest, I wouldn't repurchase this. I liked the functional tube dispenser, but I didn't like the scrub. I found it quite drying on the skin. Um, it didn't leave any oily residue, which some people may like. I actually prefer it when scrubs do leave that, because I'm quite lazy when it comes to moisturising. Um, yeah, I just didn't like it. It had a lavender fragrance, which I didn't mind, but some people may dislike that as well and it just wasn't for me but I have reviewed it on the blog so if you want more information then do check it out I mean I didn't hate it I did I was happy to use it up but 
and nonetheless I wouldn't repurchase it, which is a shame because I normally like DHC but didn't get on so well with this. Also, I don't like it when a label is sort of papery and it, I just think it sort of starts flaking off in the shower and it doesn't feel sort of very well thought out. And I know that sort of sounds a bit pernickety but it's obvious that you're going to use this in the shower so I just think it's a bit lazy for them to not print a waterproof label. Now on to in-shower body moisturisers. As I said, I'm quite lazy when it comes to moisturising, so these have been a real hit for me. Um, first up, I tried the Whipped Clean from Soap and & Glory, and I really, really like this. It's a luxe cream wash shower butter, so this is sort of, you would still use this as you would a shower wash, but you don't need to moisturise afterwards. And it was very rich and creamy, and it really did live up to those moisturising properties. It says that it's got velvety cocoa and shea butters, grape seeds, sweet almond and macadamia oils with a pistachio almond and sweet vanilla scent. I didn't find this sickly sweet. I thought the fragrance was sort of just quite warm and comforting, but it's not sort of like a bakery scent that's sort of, you know, going to be pretty unpleasant first thing in the morning, which is when I tend to use these moisturising shower products because I'm in a hurry. I don't want to be faffing around like rubbing in moisturiser, especially when it's cold. So um, I would definitely repurchase this. In fact, I already have. And I also used up two of the Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser Skin Conditioners. I'm just counting these as one empty, so you're getting a little extra freebie this month. You can see that I like these and I have already repurchased it again. Um, and I've also mentioned these in my favourites, so you know that I like it. Um, <laughs> my friend here on YouTube, Jelly Minx, absolutely hates the scent of this, but it doesn't bother me. To me, it just smells like a lotion and it doesn't interfere with my fragrance. And it's just super easy to use. You just apply this um, after you've used your shower wash onto the skin while you're still in the shower. And you can really feel that your skin is moisturized afterwards once you get out of the shower and you sort of get dressed. You can get dressed quickly. It's just so much quicker and easier and more efficient. So I really like these and they're super affordable. Out of all of the in-shower body moisturizers that I've come across, these are the cheapest, so that's why I've sort of been buying them in bulk, particularly because they tend to be on offer quite a lot, so I've just been picking them up sort of when I've seen them on offer. And I've got the one for dry skin with almond oil, but I think there's one that's for just normal skin as well. On to a more traditional moisturiser now, and I used up the Lush Creme Anglaise Body Moisturiser, which I liked, but there's not really much point in me talking about this because they have unfortunately discontinued it. Um, so, that will just be going in my little bag of Back to Lush products. If you take back five empties that are clean from Lush, then you can get a free fresh face mask. And I do like their fresh face mask, so I'm looking forward to collecting five empties and taking them back to get my face mask. Finally, onto fragrance, and I used up a candle. I used up the Yankee Candle in Black Coconut, which I quite liked. I was pretty impressed because I normally go for much higher end candles. I particularly like the neon ones, which are very clean burning. They've only got sort of vegetable wax as opposed to paraffin wax and they're packed full of essential oils so they've got that really wonderful room filling fragrance. I also think that they look incredibly chic but I picked up a couple of Yankee candles that were on offer and this was one of them and I liked that even though it's called black coconut it's not really a sort of summery tropical scent because it's got quite a vanilla -y fragrance to it as well. And I like the black wax, I like that it comes with a lid um, not everyone's going to like this because it is quite sweet, but I found it quite comforting. I mean, it's obviously not going to be sort of the cleanest burning. You can look at the jar and see that it's, you know, giving off black soot. The downside with this, I mean, I would repurchase Yankee Candles because I do like them. And I have got some other ones that I've sort of bought in bulk when they've been on offer. I was really disappointed that the wick has completely burnt out, but there's still... You know, I think that's a fair amount of wax still in the bottom there. So that was a bit disappointing, but nonetheless, they are cheap and compared to the normal candles that I go for, and they're pretty nice. I always go for this sort of tumbler style. I just prefer it. It's personal taste. I know they've got some that look more like a sort of shapely jar, but I like the tumblers. And I'll clean this out and repurpose it somehow to store part of my ever-growing and quite an embarrassingly large makeup collection so maybe I'll put lip glosses or something in there I'm not too sure I don't like to use these as brush holders because I like my brushes to be sort of covered up so I keep them in my brush roll yeah there we go 
And on the subject of fragrance, I finished up some traditional perfumes. I finished up the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noire, which I really, really liked. I use this sort of as my everyday fragrance. I adore Guerlain fragrances. They're my favourite brand for fragrance. And I thought that the bottle was so chic. It's the sort of same shape as their classic Mitsuku bottle. Um, but it's got that sort of younger element with the sort of doodles on it, the sort of scribbled on name and the sort of faded dusty rose and black. I think it's so chic. I always keep my empty perfume bottles on my dressing table, almost like an artwork <laughs> underneath a, an old bell jar. So I won't be throwing this away, it will be added to that collection. Um, maybe that's a bit weird, but I like it and I love perfume, so why not keep the bottles on display? Now this actually won my Skin Deep Beauty Blog Award for the 2012 Best New Launch. I really, really enjoyed it. I wore it pretty much sort of from 2012 autumn until it ran out. And I really like it, and I was surprised that I like it, because to me it's quite a sweet, fruity fragrance, which is not something that I tend to go for, but I think Guerlain just get it right when it comes to fragrances. And I'll tell you what the note, it's really raining, so the light's okay. You may be wondering what the name sort of La Petite Robe Noire, Little Black Dress, where that's coming from, and that's sort of hinted at with some of the notes in this fragrance, which includes black cherry, which you definitely get, but as soon as you spritz this on, you're hit with that sort of sweet, fruity, black cherry fragrance, which I quite like, actually. I do like a cherry scent. And then it's got a rose heart and black tea as well. So that's sort of those two black cherry and the black tea notes are sort of where the name comes from, it, I think, anyway. And as a signature to the girl our house, it has, of course, got vanilla in it as well. So I absolutely love this. I've got quite a few perfumes to use up, so I probably won't be rushing out to repurchase it just yet, but I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a great younger introduction to girl our fragrances. Still very chic, despite sort of, you know, those sort of fruity, sweet notes in it that can sometimes be a little bit cloying in, in some fragrances. So I would definitely recommend this. And then last but certainly not least is one of my all-time favourite fragrances. This is my go-to fragrance every single summer. I always have a bottle of this on hand and it's something that I will t purchase time and time again. My mum loves it as well. It is, of course, Aqua de Parma. I mean, look at that signature bright yellow box. I mean, can you just... How can you look at that and not think it's so chic and, and just happy and summery? I absolutely love this and I'm in good company because some real icons have worn this such as Cary Grant, Ava Gardner, Audrey Hepburn. It's such a classic, very sophisticated fragrance and I don't even like citrus fragrances as a general rule but I love this. It's so fresh and refreshing to spritz on. Really, really love it. It's got Sicilian citrus in it. It's also got lavender, and I definitely get those notes. It almost sort of dries down to quite a powdery finish, which I find very sort of feminine and chic. It's also got rosemary, amber, rose, and some musk in it as well. I mean, I don't get those scents quite so much. I can't pick up, pick up on them so well, but I, I love this. I think it's a scent that everybody should try. If you're into fragrance, then you know, this is a classic, you must try it. Just even just get a sample or spritz it on in a department store. It's my go-to for summer. I probably wouldn't wear it so much sort of in the autumn or winter because it's just a bit too fresh and it really is a summer fragrance in my mind, but love this. I hope that you found this video useful. If you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this, then please do subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. There's a button just below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!